Wizard, I think, wizard. I want to blow stuff up. It could be enchanter. Let's see how many classes they have here. Warrior, monk, cleric, rogue. Wizard, enchanter, shaman, paladin. What is this? Nine classes. Uh, this is not my first time logging into Pantheon, Rise of the Fallen. I got my access code the other day and I logged in as a cleric. And I played to level two. I must have played, I don't know, two hours or so in two separate sessions, and um, it was difficult. Level one is really difficult. I mean, difficult, like, harder than EverQuest difficult. The original EverQuest, where, you know, you can't kill anything. Everything is an even con, and if you miss or, f you know, fizzle a spell or something, you're dead. So I had our time level one, but once I got to level two with my cleric, it was pretty good. I got a couple of uh, extra... I got a spell, I got... Um, well, I got a useless spell. It was curing disease. It was like a cure of something. Or it was a cure of a bleed. It was a cure bleed. And I, nothing was making me bleed, so I never used it. But I guess my other attributes went up enough where I was able to kill mobs once I got to level 2. Because they started a con blue. And then uh, I was almost made it to level 3 when I had to stop to go to work. And then I figured today, uh, after I got home, I would stream some and start over as a class that maybe has a little more punch, because the Cleric doesn't have a lot of punch. I did try to get into groups, because, you know, this is a group-centric game, so I've been hearing. And uh, I, I advertised, I spoke to people, I was in the chat, but people were kind of doing their own thing. It was, it was in the morning before work, so there weren't too many people there. I wound up just doing some grinding of mobs and, and collecting some resources, uh, because I'd like to do some crafting. I think I got on the Jewel Crafter quest and the Carpenter quest, uh, those two. I'm not sure how many trade skills you can have. I did read a little bit of the website. I learned about the, what do you call the weather system where you have to like acclimate to the weather. There are like six or so different types of weather or um, conditions that you have to prepare for. And if you're not prepared, you can have like a debuff or worse. And then there's readiness, which confused me. Uh, we'll check out readiness. I'm going to have a hard time with readiness, I think, as a wizard, because from what I understand, readiness is increased as you use your weapon, as you hit or get hit, maybe. And then there's a bar that goes up, and it, that's readiness. Now, as a wizard, I'm not going to be using my weapon, I hope. I hope that things are going to be dead before they get to me. So maybe I want to rethink that. I see a lot of paladins... I see some enchanters. I don't see many rogues. I don't know about the warriors either. Now nah, let's let's go wizard. See how it is. Probably going to be rough in in the first level. While many wizards are driven mad through study of the arcane, those who emerge stable under the weight of this power wield a force barely imaginable in awe and effect. All right. Let's do it. Uh, I made him... Uh, well, he's got to be human, because that's all there is. There are going to be several classes, uh, I mean races, but right now for the test, humans are the Oriate. There are also going to be more classes than this, but there are some that were left out. And so we're going to go with Ferndale, the wizard. Let's go Ferndale. Enter world. That's loud, huh? I'm gonna lower that once we get in the game. Audio. Master volume. Ambient. I like the ambient. Let's leave the ambient up a little bit. Sound effects. Locomotion volume. I guess that's me running. I want to hear the music. Uh, combat music. We'll see how that sounds. I actually never looked at this graphics. Show my nameplate? No. Maybe I should do 1080. No, let's leave it at. Let's leave it like this. Ultra. I mean, the game ran perfectly 
but I didn't stream. So let's see how it performs while streaming. So far so good. Lighting is a little weird right there. I spawned in a totally different spot here too. This must be the wizard's tower. Oh, I saw this from the town. The town is, uh, where's the town? I think I'm gonna have to run over to the town. This is a little scary. Is this something that somebody cast? Because I did read um, on the website that there are environmental obstacles that you have to overcome besides the climbing that you know you can climb in this game which is neat I don't think they have swimming in because I walked on water so the swimming isn't in but um, yeah I heard that you could like build bridges like you have to like cast a bridge so this must be what this is see it doesn't tell you what he is how do I inspect him let's see T no how do you inspect let me ask how do you inspect someone? The community has been very nice, very helpful so far. You don't. You don't. Okay. <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, there's no map either. I press M, nothing happens. <laughs> Someone says, you look at them closely. Uh, let's see, what's this over here? That's an arcane anomaly. It's glad to see me. Let's not attack it if it's glad to see me. A small flitterwing bat is indifferent to my presence. This would be an evenly matched fight. I'd be lucky to find anything blue at level 1, because I couldn't before... Here's a beetle. Somebody said I should try at um, beetle, so let's do that. Let me get my max range. First, let me look at my skills here. Heavy, heavy, heavy slash. A slashing technique. Deals 100% weapon damage to the target. Deals 10% bonus damage when positioned in front of the target. That's good, because that's where I'll be. And shiv. <clears throat> Piercing. Deals 100% weapon damage. Deals 10% bonus damage when behind. So I get two combat abilities with a wizard. I only got one with the cleric, and that was this. Bash. 100% weapon damage. Plus 10% weapon damage uh, when behind the target. Okay, Beetle, it's... Well, what about my skills? Maybe I have to learn them. I think I do. Let's go into the codex, and let's look at... None of these. Uh, that's my quest journal. Codex holds your adventuring and profession abilities. So, I don't think I have a spell yet. A wizard without a spell. This is going to be rough. Um... Here's my character sheet. Ferndale, level 1 wizard. 23 hit points, 25 mana points. Shows my level bar and my mastery bar. My attributes. I put my two extra points they gave me into intellect. Because intellect increases spell crit and increases maximum mana for arcane casters. It increases spell power for priests. When I made my priest, I think I put it into wisdom. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Weapon damage, attack power, accuracy, all this stuff under melee. Oh, here we go. They start me off with two scrolls. Uh, cold Blast. It's a wizard spell, level one. Deals minor cold damage to the target. And grants two charges of cold focus. I'll have to learn what that is. Right click to learn the ability. Learned. My second scroll is Mana Skin. It's another level 1 wizard scroll. You use it and it scribes Mana Skin to your codex. It's a channeled spell. 
manifest your mana as resilient armor, causing all incoming damage to be dealt to your mana pool instead of health. Damage dealt in excess of your mana pool cannot be mitigated. That's interesting. That's going to be a last resort. Oh crap, I'm going to die because I'm going to need my mana. Otherwise, I have a feeling I'm not going to do much damage. And I have a mysterious letter. So far, this is exactly like EverQuest. A mysterious letter. You do not know me, but I have an opportunity for you. Find me near the well in the center of the village of Avalia, and I will explain more. Until we meet the scavenger. Okay. Now, I can go into my codex, and now I, st I do see my spells now, so, let's see, do I drag, do I drag them? No, just right click them and they go. Minus skin, right click, that one goes up here for some reason. This is like a shift one, and these are just the regular hotbars. Alright, now I'm ready for the, I'm ready for the beetle now, where do you go? There he is. I thought he was getting away from me. Oh, this is this one. This is what's close by. So let's see if that cold blast turns red when I get out of range. I know it might be hard for you to see here because it's dark. When it gets dark out here, it gets dark. Look at that. You can't even see my guy. Ferndale. He's standing in the darkness. I like the graphics. Now, I have not played this game at all until, you know, yesterday, when I when I got access, I got in, I played for a while. And I heard and read about the change in graphics. And to be honest, um, I kind of like this. I like this, gra I like a unique style of graphics. I like graphics that uh, has personality, that defines the game. Yeah, it may have looked better the other way with more realistic graphics, you know, photorealistic, but Yes, a lot of games look like that. They all look the same. All right, I'm going to move closer because my sk my spell did get red when I got out of range. Now I'm in range, and now I'm going to blast them with the cold blast. Let's see the spell effect. Pretty cool. Oh, it, it, it gets recast right away. I like that. And I killed him right away. Wizard is OP. Wow. All right, let's, let's go on the hunt. This is yellow. Let's not get over confident. So uh, this is a tab target. So I'm just tabbing for a target and then pressing. Well, I'm not even pressing C. Once you tab a target, let's see if it gives you what it is. That's a grass snake. Oh no, you do have to press C. It's not like Dark Age of Camelot. Once you select um, a mob in the chat box, it tells you. It's inclination. All right, let's blast the, this snake. Boom. Another one. It's a two second cast, but you can recast it right away, which is great. Oh, this is trouble. Oh, he, he was hurting me there. I got down to half health. Uh, I really should go see the scavenger because he has tools that I could use. And one of the tools is a skinning knife. I, I want to skin everything because I want to sell everything and, and get money. Uh, bag space was an issue, so I what I did was I skinned everything, I collected every resource I could, and then I sold all that until I was able to buy a bag off of somebody who was selling them pretty cheap for eight silver. Where can I sell my stuff? Well, there's a general vendor, general goods vendor in town. Somebody says any vendor, that's helpful. I was always going to the general goods vendor. I know it may seem silly, but I often go to the particular vendor who sells the item that I want to sell. I mean, it just seems right to do that, doesn't it? If I have extra swords, I'm going to go to the weaponsmith and the weapon, weapon vendor is selling my weapons. It really would be cool if they gave you more. If you went to the proper vendor, if they gave you more money right that would be cool all right if you press z you put away your weapon there's no reason for a wizard to run around with a sword like that i don't think it's a sword i think it's a dagger 
I brings up your page. You can check your inventory and the things you're wearing. Yeah, it's a, it's a brutal dagger. Here's my bag. It's just a eight slot bag they start you with. And then I have other bag slots down here. And then you have a regular inventory space here. These are all my adventuring skills. As you use them, they will increase. Uh, that, that may be a little too loud. Is that music loud? Is that the ambient or is it the music? I think it's the music. Let's turn the music down just a little bit. There's a quick bug report command. There is not. I asked that. The first thing I asked when I got in the game, because I encountered what I thought was a bug. Well, it was a bug because I killed something and it died here on this like piece of rock. Not this particular one, but one just like it. And it got buried in the rock and I couldn't access it to skin it or even to loot it. So I asked if I could just make a report, and unfortunately you can't. You have to go to the Discord to file a bug report. So I was about to do that, and then someone came along and they looted and skinned the, the bob. So they were able to access it. I guess they just tab targeted it and uh, went ahead and did it. Now, I don't know where I am. I have no idea. There are maps. I know I've seen a video where someone opened a map, but it may be a third-party map, or maybe you have to find a map or, you know, be a cartographer. I don't know. Uh, is this a road? That's not a road. Well, there's a, there's a lighthouse down there. Let's go toward the lighthouse. Oh, see, here's a pine tree. If I had my ax, I could cut down that pine tree, which is, oh, and the jute plant. I could make cotton out of that, I guess. So this is why I need to see the scavenger right away. I'm going to go into first person here. I'm not too crazy about the uh, running animation yet. I don't have too much of a problem with the character models and the combat animations and the spell casting animations, things like that. But when they run, they look a little, uh, I don't know, weird. Uh, I don't know if I'm going the right way. I'm totally lost. I wish I... Oh, wait. Maybe this is it. I see some things. Let's try to climb. Let me go out in third person for this, because I don't want to fall to my death, but... You should... Oh, yep. He grabs right on. Now, you can only cl climb for as long as you have stamina. This is not a very big wall, so I should be okay. Nice. Yeah, see, I ran out of... Ooh. I'm not familiar with this. Did I just come back to where I spawned in? I think I did. I think that's the wizard tower. It's not the lighthouse. Yeah, I spawned in. I came up here. I killed the beetle. I went all the way up the stairs and I went over there and then I climbed down and I got right back to here and I went in a big circle. Let me ask here which way to town. Maybe Clovis knows. Hello way to town please here are my inclinations for wizardry fire ice magic and essence I suppose all right he's AFK I guess, when in doubt, follow the road. I do like that you can look side to side and so on and so forth while you run in a particular direction. So you can run down the path, you can look around. Very helpful when playing in first person mode. So nobody sneaks up behind you. I'm doing the exorcist right now. Maybe this is a teleport to the town? Step on this and see what happens. Oh! Something definitely happened. What does this fellow have to say? Hail. There is no hail. You just right click him. Well met, traveler. 
Yeah, all right, goodbye. The Arcane Watcher. Keep to the roads. They are much safer than the wilderness beyond. That's good advice. I'm going to keep to the road. I'm keeping to the road. Uh, yep, the road just goes in circles. Here we go. This looks a little familiar. I remember this. I, I was tempted to go down there, but I didn't. So if I follow this road up, up I should get into the town, I believe. Um, did the road just end? <laughs> yeah, the road comes around. All right, let me follow the road this way then. I think the town is that way. Why does it have to be night? Oh, I see some lights coming from this way. Let's go this way here. I'm not following the road, so I get what I deserve here. This slog beetle is yellow to me. He's indifferent to my presence, though. I think I know where I am now. Pygmy raccoon. Oh, that's a thug. Let's go the opposite way. Dusk bat is indifferent to me. That's darkness. He's a player. Brown rat. Rats are vicious in level one. I think I'm getting close to the town. I, re I remember that bridge. I know this is annoying, but I like it. I like a dark night. I like suspense when you travel. I don't necessarily like to be lost all the time, but you know, I just started playing the game, so once I get familiar, this won't happen as much. It's down here. See, these rats might be aggro. Let me see. It says they're indifferent. Could have sworn I had one attack me, though. Maybe I uh, accidentally hit it. There's a light. There's some more lights coming from that way. See, the, the cleric spawned in right near town. It was easy. Okay, now I know where I am. I remember this river. I remember that bridge. We're good. I'm out of coffee, though. That's not good. I have hunger uh, up on top of my character health and mana. Here's the readiness bar I was talking about, the uh, white or the white, you know, light gray bar, whatever that is. Health and thirst. They start you off with some food. I have water. And I have bread. Stale bread. Thanks, game, for the stale bread. This is taking me into town. So I'm going to go speak to um, the scavenger and get those initial quests. What I've found in my initial uh, couple of hours playing is the quests rarely give you experience. Some of them do. And I haven't done many of them. Well, there's a lot of people here. But what they do is they give you an item or they give you... Um, something. So here's a scavenger. A fine piece of scrap you are, to someone I presume. Available tasks. Here's a trade skill task called a mysterious letter. We'll complete that. Ah, you got my letter. Excellent. The people here suffer from many problems and there is good profit to be made in that. Speak to me again and I can point you to many opportunities. It's in it for me, you ask? Oh, don't trouble yourself over that. All right, I've got all these tasks to take. Mining. The Forlin is rich in minerals. A skilled miner can make quite a profit. Let's get on with it. Always something to seek, always something to find. So you don't have to do anything with these. You accept the quest, you hand in the quest, and he gives you the axe. So it's, it's a little silly, but... And there's no reward. He just gives you the axe. That's the reward. All uh, right. Uh, wood cutting. 
up for some wood cutting. Here I can show you how to handle a hatchet. I suppose he shows you the hatchet, shows you how to handle a hatchet in case you don't know. Take this hatchet, make sure you keep a firm grip when you're swinging it. Let me know if you want to do some work with it and get paid. All right, uh, harvesting. He's going to give me a sickle. Yep. Here's a harvesting sickle. Use it like so. See, if you want to put it to work, talk to me again. Uh, skinning. Here's the skinning knife. Uh-huh. Uh, the art of scavenging. Greetings, traveler. At last, it seems we've found one another. While it's true, you don't know me yet. Let's just say I've been waiting for someone like you. One of the things I've learned in life is treasures aren't just about glinting gold and shining gems. He leans in and gestures, gestures to the random items scattered around him. A cracked teacup, a broken pocket watch, a withered map. Real treasures, my friend. They're right under our noses. He chuckles softly, his eyes dancing. To that end, allow me to teach you the scavenging skill. This way, you can know these joys for yourself. Ooh, this one gives 50 experience. And he's going to give me a schematic. The burlap, the burlap bandage pattern. Now we'll complete it. Okay. Odds and ends. So now he's giving us tasks to go out and harvest, I think. Metal bolts, a handsaw, and a rusted longsword. I could have sworn I had lying those lying around here somewhere, but alas. A scavenger like you will have no problem finding those, that's for sure. A little tip. Throne Fast is a vast region. I'd wager you have a good chance of finding one of those longswords by sniffing around where the thugs and ruffians haunt. It'll give me 175 experience and 50 copper. And I don't know what the heart means. 0 0.01 hearts. Oh, oh, that's probably faction. Because there are factions in this game. Required to reach reputation tier 2. Yeah, it shows you the level you need. shows you the, I guess, the, uh, the heart, which is like your faction or your standing. Right, well, we're going to just take all these. I don't, I don't think I need to read them all. This is for mining. Take the pickaxe, mine some asherite. All right. Uh, harvesting. How about you go out there and harvest a few potatoes? Potatoes. Woodcutting. I need to chop pine trees. And skinning. Bring me back three tattered pelts and I'll pay you for them. Uh, scavenger's path. I have a little task if you're up for it. I'm working on a project and I'm in need of an empty bottle and a piece of scrap metal. The scavenger catches you eyeing him strangely. Don't give me that look. This is no ordinary junk. I've got an eye for interesting things that most folk overlook. These items have value to me and I'm thinking you're just one to fetch them. All right. Uh, what, what does he want me to do? Let me accept it. Did he tell me what I needed for that? Scavenger's path. Well, here's another one. Heavy lift. Part one. Ah, my friend is always ready to for the next adventure. I've got a task that's a touch different this time. A journey that I'll that'll weigh on both your body and your thoughts. With a smirk, the scavenger presents a small weathered pouch. There's a man who wanders the town of Avalia, a lover of water and seafaring ships, goes by the name of Alroy Flintshaw. He's waiting for this leather satchel. I'll warn you, though, the bag is as weighty as a, fellow, as a few blacksmith hammers. It'll slow you down like a soldier in armor trudging through mud. I'm not going to take this yet because I have a feeling I'm going to be carrying this thing around going slowly, and I don't know where Alroy is. So I'm going to hold off on that until I find Alroy. It's, he says he wanders the town, so he may be just one of these fellows that walk around town here. But anyway, I have all my quests. 
and now I'm just going to go out and uh, try and find some stuff to blow up and gather. I think there's stuff like right in town if you look. There's some, there's some like meadows where sometimes you can find some mobs, I think. I don't want to go that far because I can't see anything. It's pitch black. I complain about it, but I do like the night cycle. I like that it's dark. I mean, this is a little excessive, but you know, I'm human. And in EverQuest, humans had a hard time. If you're a dwarf or an elf and you get the um, night vision, you see better. And they will be dwarves and elves. I checked the website. There should be mobs out here. Here's a rat. I would like anything that is blue. I'm probably not going to find any blue mobs. There's a white con, which is my level. White con. Let's just kill the rat. Alright, he's going to get the cold blast. And he's going to get it again. And I'm going to stab him. Simple as that. Two cold blasts and a stabby stab, and they're dead. And now I can skin it. Skinning takes a bit of time. Right click to begin skinning. Oh, I have to equip all of my stuff. I forgot to. So they're all in my bag. Just right clicking puts them in the slot that they belong in. And I, you can't see them right now because I'm in my adventuring tab. And you can hit professions tab and now it takes you to all of your profession tools that you need. Yeah, I think those are all my tools. And now we'll skin. It takes a while. I think maybe, just maybe, the, um, the gathering could take a hair less time. Uh, I appreciate old school games. I like the difficulty and challenge of old school games like EverQuest, Dark Age of Camelot, things like that. But games that make you do things uh, for a long time for no particular reason nowadays, um, probably not going to be popular with people. Uh, people have other things to do. I mean, I love playing games. One of them, my favorite things to do ever. But I've got other things to do, and I would like to get as much done as I can. So please let me skin this rat in half the time it just took me. All right, he's white. Blast him. I love how this cold blast spell has such a small cooldown. Uh, why can't I hit him? Why can't I stab him? Should I put mana skin on? Oh, he ran away. <laughs> Where'd he go? He he left in a hurry. I have to hit my sprint. Okay, I got him. My auto attack killed him. So sprinting is simply left click, and it shows you your stamina bar. So you could sprint as long as you have stamina. I kind of like that. I like the, uh, the the shift to run. So, I don't know, if what games have a shift to run? You know, usually they're action combat type games where you have a shift to run or, or control to dodge. There's no dodge as far as I could tell, but maybe the rogues have the dodge. They should, anyway. Here's an emerald leaf spiderling. It is white. Uh, so far, I have... Get into my adventuring tab. I have about two and a half bars. So, the grind is... Is like you know, it's it's not like um, more modern games where you kill two or three mobs and you're level two, then you're level three, then you're level four. I'll be killing mobs for a little while. Let's get to max range. Cold blast is my go-to spell here. Deals moderate cold damage, grants two charges of cold focus. I still don't know what the cold focus is. Maybe that's what these dials are. So I'm gonna keep an eye on this blue dial. It says ice after I cast the spell. Yeah, it gave me two of them. And I got two more. And I just stabbed them. But what does it mean when I have focus there? What does it mean? Let's look at the character page. Maybe it says something about it. Uh, is it disappearing? Yeah, they're disappearing. Uh, I'll ask. Maybe someone will know. 
What does focus do? I get it when I cast my spell. And I'm skinning. And I'm skinning. All right, done skinning. When is it going to be daytime? I mean, the sky is kind of nice. I still haven't seen weather in my play sessions, but in some YouTube videos that I've been watching, there is weather. I've seen rain. Oh, we don't want yellow. Sleepwalking Oscar. <laughs> Let's see what he's doing. Is he really sleepwalking? Is he wearing his pajamas? Like, what? what's that? Zzz. <laughs> he's sleeping. Alright, here's a rat. Rat's gonna go down. Cold blast. Cold blast and a shiv. Oh, two cold blasts got him. I'm getting more powerful. Whoops. I don't think anybody answered my question about the focus. I usually do. Soon enough. Here's a small dusk bat. No, it's yellow. You know, I wonder if I could take a yellow. I should try. Should I try? Let's try taking out the small dusk bat. Let me get to max range. So I hit him with two spells before he gets to me. Alright. Here goes nothing. Alright, that's twice. Let me hit another spell. Got him to half health. Give him a shiv. Still got mana. This cold blast doesn't take much mana, apparently. I killed him. Wow, wizards are powerful. Wizards are good. So we have a new preferred target now. I'm going to kill yellows instead of whites. Maybe I'll level up quicker. Uh, X is sit and rest. You'll see, uh, where is it? Up, up here, you'll see a resting. Usually you only see the two most, um, the right two icons. One of them just says lantern light. That's just your natural light. I guess you carry around a little lantern. You can see it around him at night here. It sort of doesn't work so great, but you probably have better ones. And then resting when you're sitting, so you can get your health back and your mana. All of these are buffs that I got when I went to see the scavenger. Usually there are players there, higher level players, that will buff everybody. So that also could be a reason why I killed that yellow, because I've got all these buffs. This one here is charisma increase, sprint speed increase, endurance drain reduced, intellect increased, and so on. Attack speed increase, so... I should kill as much as I can before these run out. Did I? Oh, I didn't. Yeah, maybe I should uh, forego the skinning and go on a killing spree while I have 30 minutes left of these buffs. Uh, because they're player, it's, it's a player given buffs and they may not be there when I go back. So that'll be my last skinning for now. I'll, I'll work on skinning on my own at uh, my own pace, probably off camera, so you guys don't have to watch me bend down for like a minute and skin the animals. Like, I'm not even going to con these things anymore because I'm going to blow them up. Uh, unless they're red. Reds will probably smoke me. But here's another spiderling. It's going to get the magic 
Cold Blast. That one did 21 damage. Where'd it go? It ran away already. I hit it with two spells and it booked. I love the wizard. Uh, the auto attack I have set to the tilde key. Well, I think that's actually default. Still gonna loot them. Alright. Uh, and I have plenty of mana. Let's kill the grass snake. Oh, this is much better than Cleric. Yeah, see, he, he did 21 damage on his first spell. I get... I had Focus left over. That actually only did 20 damage. So I don't know what Focus does. Maybe the Focus... Um, lets you cast, like, the next spell for less mana. Because I noticed I cast a few um, Cold Blast spells. And my mana bar, like, wasn't really moving that much. It could be that... No, I'm not going to skin that. It could be that maybe that just gives you a discount on your mana. I wish it said something. I'm going to ask one more time. I don't want to be a pain in the ass, but... Does anyone... know what... focus... is... for... wizard? Maybe, maybe it's just a wizard thing. Maybe there aren't many wizards on. That's why nobody's answering. I have my nameplates on, but only when I get close. Um, let's go back to first person. It is getting morning, so I will be able to see some stuff around here soon. This has got a pretty good range, this cold blast. 25 meter range. Say goodbye to this brown rat. That one did 20 damage. That one did 30 damage. And as you can see, I have four focus on the ice radial here. You know, I wasn't paying attention. Maybe somebody answered. No. No. Nobody knows what focus is. I like how the borders of your screen turn red when you're in combat. Shiv. Yeah, the Shiv does 16 damage. Not terrible. I'll sit next to Wanglo. All characters look exactly the same. There's no character customization yet. I was a little bit bummed about that. Once you start leveling and get your gear, you'll start to look a little different than others with your gear, not your face. Everybody's face looks the same. We're twins. <laughs> he said, oh. Oh. So that's why I love these games. When you have to sit down and rest for even just 20 seconds, you get a chance to actually communicate with other people in the game. And even if it's just saying hi, that's fine. I've played, I can't tell you how many hours of World of Warcraft I've played and not spoken or uttered a word, or been uttered a word to me by another player. It's ridiculous. It's an MMO. Well, actually, World of Warcraft Retail is not an MMO anymore. It's a single-player game. It's just a lot of other people play it in the same world. Let's see how I'm doing. Uh, I've got almost two bars to level two. This is taking me a fraction of the time it took me to level my cleric to level two. Uh, I, I said I wasn't going to make two characters. I was going to just play one character through the test because I've only got I've only got a week to test because I'm I'm only like a whatever the lowest backing supporter is. That's what I am. You get like the last week, and I got a late start because I didn't get my code right away. I had to put in a sport ticket, then they sent me my code, so I got access like yesterday. And I was just say, I was gonna say, oh, I'm gonna take take one character, play it all the way through, then next month, get, you know, log on to the same character, play him through. But I cannot resist trying characters, no matter what game it is, I can't resist playing all the different characters. This is gonna be it though, this is it. Just this character and then the cleric. See which one I like best. I think I just got bit. Shiv. I love the Shiv. He sticks him good. Uh, I'm full. Alright, let's go back and sell. That's a bummer. I was on a roll there.
I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest in uh, the Discord that we move quicker on the path. I don't know if that's a thing or not. Maybe it is a higher level. But like when I get on the path here, I should run faster than than here. Well, like here, I run the same speed as the path, and it shouldn't be that way. The path should be quicker. A lot of people here. I mean, the last time I was here was this morning early, and there was maybe two or three people. But I did get lucky because one person was selling bags, and I got a bag pretty cheap. Heavy Metal was here this morning. Who else do I recognize? That's it. That's it, really. I don't recognize anybody else. Oh, Backstabs. I saw him this morning too. Uh, the general goods vendor is here. Felix Prim. I'd say my prices are quite reasonable, Traveler. So I'm going to open my inventory and Alt, right click on the items I'm going to sell. Which is going to be all of them, because at this point I need another bag. Actually, I can hand in a quest for pelts. Let me save those. I could probably cook the rat meat, but I'm not going to do any trade skills yet. Let me get to level 2. You know, I could take these things and put them in my bank, because I did find the bank. But I need the money to buy a bag. Sell the rat blood. Small spider venom gland. I think the items you have tell you if they could be used for something. Uh, for instance, the spider silk. Uh, uh, it says a glob of silk from a giant spider, dried and spun. This can be used to make thread. So maybe, maybe I will save that. At that, I've sold that stuff. It only got me a little more than two silver. So I have to go back out and do this several times. Could I learn this schematic? Oh yes, I can. Burlap, burlap bandage pattern move to schematics bag. You can find that on the professions tab of your character sheet. So here's the professions gathering. Oh, here it is, the schematics bag. Use at the scavenger's workshop. A simple pattern used to make burlap bandages. I didn't do that last time. I'm going to do that, just not right now. Now that it's daytime, I want to get out there and kill as much as I can. I have 24 minutes of buff left. I don't see anybody buffing here right now. Which way did I come from? This way, I think. I like the music. The music is pretty nice. There are some pretty nice ambient sounds. I think overall, so far, I like the, the sound design of the game. I like how the trees move. Nothing is too static. Like, you can see movement. That's always important when I'm playing an MMO. I like to see a world that's a little dynamic, that has some movement. And not just things that are, like, painted on. Alright, I'm going to kill that boar. The textures on these rocks could be better, but I'm just nitpicking. It's really the gameplay that counts. I still play the first ever quest, which is ancient and looks terrible. But... Oh, he stunned me or something. Yep, I'm stunned. <laughs> he gives a double stab. Oh, see, this is the this is what happened to me. But I can loot him. He's in the rock, though. That that should be. I'm gonna write that. Just as, just not as a bug, but as a suggestion that maybe animals shouldn't be sinking into stones. Let's kill a hornet, why not? Nasty. So much more powerful than a cleric. You can't heal though. It was fun running around with my cleric healing everybody. After a fight, when he'd be like at half health, there's level two. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna go. Um, I'm not gonna go directly back to learn spells because I'm I'm kind of owning these things as it is. Let me just plow through these while I have the buffs, and uh, 
Then I'm going to go back and I think you could learn like a spell. When I leveled to, to two with my cleric, I was able to get like one spell and maybe one combat ability. I, I don't, I'm not even sure if I got a combat ability. All right, here's a yellow beetle. The problem is that guard will kill it. So let's move over here. I watched somebody test um, Eternal Tombs, I think it's called. It's another MMO going to be coming out. I think it's starting a test soon. And it was on a YouTube, and it looked interesting, but <laughs> he tested out the guard system, and he brought a mob over to the guard. The guard did nothing. The guard just watched him fight. Is this thing dead? It's alive, but I can't cast. Why not? Weird. I haven't been looking for trees. I want to start chopping some trees because I need three pine logs for a quest. Uh, that's a pine tree. They're not super abundant, so when I when I see one, I kind of go get there quick. Again, the resource gathering is slow. I like the tree falling now, though. That is cool. The stump just disappears, but that's fine. When I play Valheim, I go on a mission to get rid of every stump I see. I can't stand stumps. Yellow Jacket's about to die. Kill, kill, kill. The Yellow Jacket gives honey. Should I tell them? <laughs> Should that be another thing I put into Discord? Yellow Jackets don't give honey. They'll sting you, but they're not going to give you. They're not going to give you honey. It doesn't show in the chat. Um, it doesn't show in the chat how you level up. But, if you open your character sheet with I, you can see, um, I'm in the Professions tab, you can see Harvesting here, and my skinning got to 5 out of 10, and my wood cutting just got to 3 out of 10. So here's how you can keep track of where your skill is. attack on. I should do that first before I actually cast a spell. Get auto attack on and cast. See this line of mobs? They're all going to die. One. Does he make a combat face? I doubt it. Nah, no combat face. I love an MMO with characters that get a mean combat face when they're fighting. EverQuest 2, Lord of the Rings Online, what else does it? I think the new I think World of Warcraft retail does it. But I don't know why they would get a mean combat face. In World of Warcraft retail, no matter what you fight, unless you're in a raid or something. You're going to kill the monsters. It's no threat to you. Stupid scaling. I hate it. Alright, I have to sell again. I guess it's a good time now to go back and train. Uh, I may have enough money to do it. This forest forager is indifferent to me. Uh, he might have, like, gear I can use. Let's, let's kill him. I didn't look, my mana was a little low. Yeah, this wizard is just crazy good. Oh, he's got coins. Perfect. A 
So, out of two characters, I've leveled to two <laughs> so far. Uh, if you want an easier time, take the wizard. Character controls are good. It's even got right left mouse button move. So you press them both, you move forward. Uh, you can move forward with the W key and still orbit your character while pressing the left mouse button. And he'll turn on a dime. Like right now, if I want to reverse direction, he'll just turn and go. I like that. I've been going for about an hour. Yeah, I'm going to hand these in and then probably just end the stream. I just wanted to get to level 2 and try out the wizard, compare it to the cleric. And like I said, the, the wizard was so much easier. And then I'll be back on later, probably with the wizard. I'm going to keep the wizard as my main through the tests. When does this go to? I forget when this week ends. I think it started on, what, the 25th? Did it start on Monday? So it goes for a week, so I have maybe a couple of days left. So I'm going to make another stream or two and try to get as high level as I can with my with my uh, wizard. War Tusk. I never handed into pelts. i got to do that. Raw bee honey. Could I use this? Ah, i got to sell it because i got to buy bags. i got to sell all this stuff. Uh, here are pine branches. A sturdy pine branch, while it is not the most durable wood out there, you could make something out of it with the proper tools. Let me save it. Bee venom. Carefully collected venom from a bee stinger. I don't know. Okay. Uh, that gave me... Oh, now I'm up to five and a half silver. I think that the vendor, let's see what she sells a bag for. A small pouch is 19 silver and it's four slots. I think I got a six slot bag. It might have even been an eight for eight silver the guy was selling them for. And I forget his name. I'm such an idiot. I should have, I should have jotted down his name so that I could find him again. I need to buy some more of those things. All right, and I can also hand in a quest in this mob of people to the scavenger. I completed skinning. Yes, these will work perfectly. Here's some coin for you. See me again if you'd like another task. So it doesn't give experience, but it's giving me 75 copper and a little bit of uh, faction standing. And then I can get another skinning quest. Hmm, can you smell that meat roasting over there at the tavern, Traveler? It's giving me an idea. Would you mind terribly going out and getting me five fresh cuts of boar meat? I'll pay you for them. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll get that. Again, it doesn't give experience. It's just going to give me some money. But I'm going to be killing boars anyway, so I might as well get a little extra money for it. Oh, and I did the wood cutting. Uh, I have the pine logs. So let's hand those in. Perfect. Here's your pay. Now I'll go charge that old fool twice the going rate just for complaining. See me again later for more work. He sells some things here. Schematics for a climbing claws design. What was that? A grappling hook design. Here's the four slot pouch for 19. A six slot pouch is 77 silver. That's a lot. But uh, a little grinding. Let's see, maybe I get some money and I'll buy some more bags because bag space is an issue. But killing things is not an issue, not with the wizard. It's been pretty good with the wizard. Ferndale. Thanks for tuning in. 
I hope you enjoyed it. If you are on the fence about Pantheon and you want to see some early level uh, leveling, I'll be doing it for the next few days until this test ends, and then I'll pick up at the end of next month. I'm, I'm think I don't I don't think I'm gonna up it up my my backing. You know, it's already a lot of money just to test the game. But um, but I enjoyed it so far. I like it. I mean, I knew I'd enjoy this game because I like EverQuest. I like old style MMOs, and this was started by Brad McQuaid. He's the man. He he did. He started it with EverQuest, so I hope they follow his vision uh, when they continue to, to develop this game. I really do. Uh, I hope that the players. I think they will. I think that the players involved are going to keep their voices up so that it does stay on course. Because when they tried to change the development of this and make it like an extraction type game. Uh, people spoke up and they quickly reversed. And so let's hope things stay like that.